do this. Let me you just can. say, you were so excited when you came in, and you've got an absolute star there. Because yeah. he's got a lot of imagination, a lot of style, and he'd really, really worked hard for this for you. So don't get worrying. We go. <laughs> All right. Okay. You ready? Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's the one I picked. No. Oh. That's nice. So it's quite a simplistic sort of dress. I've shown this because it's got the crossover part at the front there. So you've got the lace, the appliques over. I don't know how you feel about colours, but the embroidery can come in different colours. He's totally out of his depth. You've got beading down the bottom there. Just another different sort of style. And he thought venue hunting was tricky. It's just completely different. So that's got the pull across again as well. So this is a bit more traditional, really. If you don't want to go for any colour on it at all, it comes in all ivory. You've got a lovely scalloped edge on the bottom there. I'm going to show you the other one again as well. Jason's not the only one looking at dresses. Cassie's out window shopping with bridesmaid Kelly and mum Gina. I might try not all of them, but one of each style maybe. Could be a while. The lads are still looking. Nice bit of sparkle. Most ladies like a bit of sparkle. Do you like sparkle or embroidery? Mm. Not too much sparkle. Right. French lace on the top. I'm not into lace. Can I ask you, is it a church wedding? It's a civil ceremony at the hotel. Are you getting married in a church? I don't know yet. I don't know anything. <laughs> I know, but I am getting married. <laughs> Here comes the bride. Knowing Cassie, she's probably wants something that's going to sort of complement her figure kind of thing. So nothing that's going to make her, nothing that's sort of out there going to make her look big. Oh, that's a wedding dress that's to me. Definitely the one. Definitely. What's it feel like, Cass? Nice? Feels very nice. I do feel like a princess in this one. Would it help you if one of our assistants was to pop a couple of the dresses on? Yeah, Would that give you a little bit of an idea how yeah, it would look definitely. on? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's stunning. It looks lo loads different on. I've made my decision, that's going to be the one. Oh, fantastic, Matt. Oh, well done. So she walks up the aisle like this, and I'm going to know I got it completely wrong and I just have to run. <laughs> that was horrible. I feel sick now. I've done it. Woohoo! All done. Well, not all of it. <laughs> I go for a pint now, then, is it? Cassie leaves to join her bridesmaids at bridal shop all about Eve. Oh my god, I can't breathe. And then um, literally my heart just feels like I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> just time for a quick route around the rails. It just looked too good to touch. Cassie doesn't know it, but she's found the very dress that Jason has chosen for her. Time for manager Maureen to step in. Would you like me to get your dress? Oh my God, am I going to see it? You'd just like to wait here. Ah. Okay, I'll bring the dress out oh for you. God. And then we can get it on and try it on. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, over at the Celtic Manor, Jason's tying up loose ends, but his mind is on Cassie's fitting. Shit, what if she's like, <laughs> don't like it, don't like the shape of it or whatever. Like. <laughs> oh no. Can't do I can't do this. Let me just say, you were so excited when you came in, and you've got an absolute star there. Because yeah. he's got a lot of imagination, a lot of style, and he'd really, really worked hard for this for you. So don't get worrying. We go. <laughs> All right. Okay. You ready? <gasps> oh. oh my God. Oh, it's the one I picked. <laughs> no. Oh. No way. Oh, oh my God. I can't Gorgeous. believe that. Was that just the one I just pulled yeah. out? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love that one. If you'd like to come with me. It's oh, all pies, isn't it? And I have. I can't believe it's happening. It's happening that mm -hmm. oh. Once her tiara and veil are on, the look is complete. Shoulders <laughs> Oh my Hi. God! Look 
how perfectly that is. I know. Absolutely perfect. It's like a glow. Yeah, it does. It's, it's perfect. Beautiful. I know. And then if you look over your shoulder into the mirror, yeah. you can see the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Are you okay? So cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait. Just one small problem. For the seamstress to look at your alterations, we need to know what height of the heel is. Jason still has the bridal shoes. You know what shoes you've got. You know what shoes. You can't lie. Do you know, the height, Do you know the, the height of the heel? Can you just say the height of the heel? Um, I just want to know the height of the heel. Can you ring him and ask him to measure it? Yeah. Yeah? <sighs> That's okay. Do facing. Yeah, so we sat once. Hello. Do you know Cassie's shoes? Yeah. What height is the heel? Medium. Medium. <laughs> what size is a medium? Well, it's not big and it ain't small. Yeah. You can't measure them. I'm not old. So they're not big and they're not small? No, they're like, I don't know. Like three inches? Yeah. No, they ain't that big. They're not that big? Nowhere near that big. Do you know how big an inch is? Yes, of course I know how big an inch is. I'm stressed out now because I like the shoes. Bye. Ta -da. That's done my head in, eh? My sister, what height is Cassie's shoes? I don't know, just bought the shoes. They're and not as high as those ones, but they're. That's a two and a half. Mm. If the dress is too long, it's going to depend on what her heel size is, isn't it? Yeah. Take it all in. So that's it then. Final product. Yeah. Cassie's got her perfect dress, but Jason doesn't know that. I'm actually thinking it's bound to be something she doesn't like about it. There's no time to dwell, but on his way to buy favours, he gets an unexpected call. Hello. Jason, hi, it's Maureen from All About Eve Bridal. Hello, are you alright? Just a quick call, Jason. Um, the alterations on the dress are going to be six. Right, okay then. That's great, that is. Well, forget the favours, we ain't having any favours at the wedding. All the wages on the dress are 60 quid. Today, stuff's just getting chucked at me. On the last day. And I'm just like, oh, it's good to evade this on the last day, to be honest with you, like. So I feel annoyed now, to be honest. 